Okay, welcome back once again. Um, the last experiment that we looked at was burning foods practical, and there were a lot of flaws of the experiment, and hopefully you've had an opportunity to describe or discuss some of those flaws and what was wrong with that experiment and why it wasn't particularly accurate um, in order to calculate the um, true energy um, content of those foods that we looked at. What we have here is a piece of equipment called a bomb calorimeter, which overcomes many of those flaws in that previous experiment. Um, and you can use that to talk about why this is a much more robust and valid um, experiment if you want to calculate the um, true energy of the food type. The reason why this is better, hopefully you can observe it yourself, uh, but we're going to be burning a piece of food which is located in the middle of this chamber here. And this chamber, which is surrounded by a volume of water, uh, which then has a lid on it on top of that. So the idea being here that all of the energy in that food is going to be transferred into that water. None of it's going to disappear into the environment around of it, and it's even got a lid on top of the water to prevent evaporation and heat being lost in that regard. Another factor that we're going to be controlling for in this investigation is to burn the food in 100% option. That's why we have our option cylinder here, which is filling up this piece of, of filling up this volume or this flask in the middle here with 100% option. So when we burn it, we get complete combustion of the food type. You'll remember last time the test tube ended up very black because of the incomplete combustion that we, we saw occur. Um, the last piece of apparatus that I have then is a power pack, which I'm going to use a, a, a electrical source to heat the food to stimulate our flame to get the food burning. Before I start the experiment, I need to know a number of things. I need to know the volume of water. Okay, the volume of water is 618.26 grams. I'll put this on the board for you in a minute. The initial mass of the food, so we can compare uh, the energy from different food types was 0.6 grams. And the original temperature, or initial temperature in this reaction is 20 degrees centigrade. Uh, and we'll use that and compare that with the final one. Right, so it started growing. I'm just going to bring it down in contact with the food. You can start to see sparks there. It goes, you'll notice it's burning very much brighter than what we observed before. Okay. Um, and it'll continue burning in the presence of 100% oxygen until all of the food stuff has completely combusted. Okay, so I'm just going to shut off the oxygen. Everything's gone out because there's no more fuel to burn. to share the temperature, and then we're just going to measure the final temperature, um, which is 23 uh, and a bit. So 20, we'll call it 23 degrees, so a change of 3 degrees. 